Every worship must lead to Jesus. I don't want to be a failure as a minister. Hi, family. Welcome to the channel. Once again, thank you for being there and being always active on this very channel. We have another amazing sermon from Pastor John and also K family. Wow. <laughs> In this sermon, he exposes the deepest secrets regarding every encounter. Family, what he said in the sermon is really going to surprise you. It's really going to amaze you. And it's going to love God more. Because he made mention some truths, family, that all of us at times we miss. I won't say all of us, but at times we miss, family. It's very important that you listen to this entire sermon because these days, Every preacher is rather making people draw near to themselves, not to Christ. Family, let us watch the video together. I don't often project what I say. I don't talk much about it. So, so that people don't worship me. I rather want to receive the instruction and just give a, give a glimpse of it and move away. And focus more on the responsibility than telling you every vision that I, I see or how I receive certain things. It's not necessary. The most important thing is Jesus. Everything I do should draw you closer to who? Jesus, not to, not to me. If everything I've done has not brought you to consecration, holiness, and commitment to Jesus, then I've failed. I have failed woefully. Complete failure. Absolute failure. Every ascension must lead to Jesus. Every encounter must lead to Jesus. Every experience must lead to Jesus. Oh, yes. Ay, ay, every, every worship must lead to Jesus. I don't want to be a failure as a minister. It must be Jesus. Jesus. It's about him. It's about Jesus. So, family, as you all hear from Pastor John and so it's very clear, family, that you see everything that we do as ministers should have that aim to draw men to Christ, not to ourselves. But what do we see? We can testify, family, that is this most ministers rather drawing attention to themselves, not to Christ. Because everything that they do, they want attention to be on them. But he said, no, not to him. Pastor John, I know the case saying no. He doesn't want to, you know, all the prophecies and the encounters that he has had. He don't always say them because, you know, he don't want people to rather come to him. But everything that he does, he channels it to Christ. He wants every attention rather directed to Christ. And I love what said at the end. Then he has failed. If whatever he does directs you to him as a man, you, you saw you all saw him even sh cry. This should be the aim of every Christian. Let Christ be glorified, not man. Let's remember, let Christ be glorified, not man. Wow, what a wonderful sermon from Pastor Jonathan K. Once again, this sermon has really made me love him so much. And anyways, from if you're new here, remember, like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.